Oh. You guys know how fantasy Ooh. football was created? Yeah. It was like this. It was a bunch of dudes. It was a bunch of nerd asses who wanted nerd to play football asses. like us. It, it was these nerd asses who were like, all these kids are playing football. They tried. They got hurt. And they said, I'm making a game with numbers. Am I right? Close. Close. It was actually started by a guy named Bill Winklebach. Winkenbach. Sorry. <laughs> Winkenbach. Is he was a part owner of the Raiders back in the 60s. And he started, he just had this idea, got his friends together in a New York City hotel. And he had this idea, like you draft real players and you give, give them points based off their performance. And that was a start of, that was the very first record we have of any sort of fantasy football league. Listen to the, the, the scoring system they have is 25 points for a touchdown pass, rush or reception, 25 points for a field goal, 10 mm -hmm. points for an extra point and 200 for a kickoff, punt, or interception that was returned for a touchdown. <laughs> that was the original scoring system. Dude, it, they named it the the Greater Oakland Professional Pigskin Prognosticators League, or GOPAPAPO, for short. <laughs> Say that again. GOPAPAPO, for short. GOPAPAPO. Those, those rules are kind of lit, though, dude. Let's right? do a league for that. Dude, let's do an OG league. Yo, let's do that next pick, season. Pick six I is super valuable. Yeah. I think you do. You'd almost have to be grabbing like Trayvon Diggs and pick sixes over two hundred. Although, or do you just grab a defense? Is, or are you grabbing like was the original fantasy defenses. league an IDP league? Because they put an interception so. return oh, for a right, touchdown. You did do interception. Yeah, you're right. You're hundred percent right. So, yeah, that's why I am so down for an OG league next Let's year. Let's do it. That's it so feels. Fun. I don't know if they gave you the specifics of the roster construction, but just based on the scoring, it feels positionless. Know what yeah. I mean? Like, like it feels positionless. It feels like you just draft. But I don't know. Actually, Lamar Jackson would be a freaking cheat code. Jalen Hurts, these rushing quarterbacks who get 25 points per Great passing touchdown. and rushing touchdown. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's wild. Cordero Patterson to the top. Star. That's Ray pretty Ray wild. Jamal Williams would be an all-star right now. <laughs> this is all those touchdowns, 25 he, points each. Kine Nguangwu. I mean, the, uh, some IDP guys. Like I said, Trevon Diggs, dude. Almost got to grab him just for that 200-point possibility. There's also a, a little thing added here. Is as of 2015, the Gopa Bowl is still active, and they're still maintaining the original scoring system. Ew, they haven't dude. changed it. <laughs> if you haven't changed it by now, you never changed it. You know what I mean? That was something that got changed the next year, right? Or two years in where you're like, okay, we got to adjust. Once right. you let it hit like that 10-year mark, no, now it's now you're locked in. You, that, that's now cool to play in that. That's, Whereas before, like if you would have changed the year two, it would have been adapting. Now it's just abandoning something right. that was the OG. We right. should see if we can get in. Though I will say that is everyone has has or has had that commissioner at some point. That's just like, sorry, that's just the way it's always been. So we're not voting on the rules. We're not changing. Like that's taking it to an extreme. I have to say the original first rules. Just nope. We got it right the first time.